Am I an atheist? No. Well, you know what? Maybe you're not. But your reasons are kind of douchey. So let's do this. <laughs> Greetings, fellow space travelers. Bionic Dance here. And I would like you to meet a YouTuber named Aubrey Island, who has some reasons for not being an atheist that, frankly, I can't agree with. The reason being is because most, ath most atheists um, don't realize that they believe something. Now you are aware that not being part of a group that's like an organization or a club or a church or something is rather different than whether or not an adjective applies to you, right? You don't get to not be an atheist just because you don't like other atheists. If the number of gods you believe in is zero, guess what that makes you? That they still believe there isn't a god without any real proof. And some atheists do believe that it's true, but that's not what it takes to be an atheist. If you happen to think that religious people are full of shit, you're an atheist. Oh, you might be open to new information, but at the moment you believe in zero gods, and that's all it takes to be an atheist. Even ignorance of the god concept will make you an atheist as long as you don't believe for whatever reason. My subscribers have heard all of this before, but clearly you haven't. Or without any understanding um, of other religions, they simply say other people um, believe in God and there just simply isn't. Well, I'm not necessarily like that. The problem here is that you are making broad, sweeping generalizations about what makes someone an atheist, and those generalizations don't match the facts. If someone possesses the traits that make you an atheist, namely not believing in a God, then guess what that makes you? That's right, an atheist, whether you like what that says about you or not. And also, as I said before, all you have to do to be an atheist is have no God belief. You don't have to declare there is no God. You just have to not believe in one. Even if you don't know about what a God is, say like if you happen to be a baby who hasn't learned a damn thing, well, your lack of belief makes you an atheist. Sorry, that's just how this works. Um. I'm never trying to destroy somebody's belief in God. And, once again, that's not what makes someone an atheist. I realize you don't like the implications of what you think an atheist is, but you're wrong. Number of gods believed in zero? Atheist. Is God real? Well, that's up to you. Uh, no it isn't. The only way it's ever up to you whether or not something is real is if you're making it up, if it's imaginary. Fictional, like if you're writing a story or something. Is it up to me whether or not this Xbox controller is real? No, it isn't. The matter that makes it up will exist with or without my consent. And don't give me that garbage of, oh, well, the person who designed the Xbox controller made it real. No, they took matter that is real and reconfigured it into this shape. Don't try and redefine real on me. We could have very possibly been intelligently designed. The evidence would really, really, really suggest otherwise. I recently did a video on um, the robots that we're creating. Robots that were undoubtedly built in factories or laboratories, as opposed to evolving very slowly from single-celled organisms over hundreds of millions of years. Tell me, which one of those methods sounds intelligent to you? That it's very possible we were intelligent, intelligently designed, that we didn't necessarily design ourselves. Design ourselves? What do you know? If anybody thinks that, they're regarded as a complete nutcase. Not just some random accident. Whenever someone refers to evolution as an accident, it just shows they haven't done their homework. And a lot of atheists believe that, that it's evolution and all these things. And then... Maybe that's because most atheists are skeptics, who actually take a look at the facts and see where they lead. I'm not saying I'm nearly educated enough to make decisions based on those, and that's exactly why I'm not an atheist. You know what? I believe you. I'm not going to decide whether or not I'm going to do this or I'm going to live this way based on misinformation. Too late. Maybe some history. Uh, I grew up Wiccan. 
did ya? My mother's a high priestess in the Wiccan faith. Which, to my ear, sounds like she's doing live-action role-playing games on the weekend. Of course, you could describe any religion that way, but Wicca is just a little bit more blatant about being part of the fantasy genre. Just saying. I've been around a lot of religions, uh, just specifically because in school I wore a pentagram and they told me I couldn't. And I fought to have that changed in the school district in Roswell, New Mexico. Roswell, eh? Much becomes made clear. And when I did that, um, a, a lot of pagans, and pagan is different than Wiccans. Uh, pagan is different than Wicca. Pagan just means non-Christian. Uh, that's just one definition, and you got it wrong. You see, it actually means non-Christian, Jew, or Muslim. Apparently someone who's not a member of the Abrahamic faith. And as I say, that's one definition. The Greeks and the Romans were considered pagans, and they were polytheists, not non-believers. And another definition is an irreligious or hedonistic person. So apparently if you party too hardy, you're a pagan. <sighs> So I've been around a lot of Indian um, religions. I've been around a lot of uh, deists, um, independent religions. And, and, they, and, they, and I've seen something wrong with all of them, and it's belief. And yet you consider yourself Wiccan. Okay. If it's belief you have a problem with, you should be an atheist. Because that's what being an atheist is, not having religious belief. People have bad beliefs, and they, they, they dig so far, and then they stop. And then they make decisions based on that, and other people don't understand them, and they need to make a choice on something they don't understand. And then blind faith comes in, and then everybody's making decisions because one person understands it, and another doesn't, and blah, 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 blah. Which is actually a fairly accurate description of the atheist position. You seem to have gotten it into your head that atheists say, There is no God for certain. I know this to be the case. And it's just not true. Most modern atheists are skeptics. We go where the facts lead us. And it's not our fault that the facts seem to indicate pretty damn strongly that belief in a God is chowder-headed. Um, Wiccans believe in gods. There's more than one. Really, typically two. You know, the god and the goddess, the goddess being the earth, the everything uh, that is n knowable, you know. Essentially what you've done is grafted a layer of special onto the real world, and you can't prove that layer is there. People think the goddess is beyond that. No, just, just the earth. God is everything else. And there is absolutely no sexism implied whatsoever when God is absolutely everything except for this little tiny itty bitty planet in the infinite universe that happens to be the goddess. Uh-huh. Sure. And once again I have to ask, where is your proof that any of this is true? God is, uh, the universe. Some, the, all the things we don't know about. So if your god is the embodiment of everything we don't already know, he must be diminishing over time as we slowly but surely learn more about the universe around us. Right? Oh, and holy god of the gaps argument, Batman. Filling in the gaps in our knowledge with god? No, no. You don't get to do that. Ignorance is ignorance. It's not god. And also, if your god is the embodiment of everything we don't already know, how did you know he existed in the first place? Just asking. Because you sort of swear an allegiance to the faith, to defend it and um, educate people on it and do it right and things like that. So anybody you see around wearing gothic, earring, earplugs, blah, 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 and they're wicked, um, they're probably not doing it right. They're not true Scotsmen. The gothic thing sort of floats around... Um, Wicca and pagan religions, and that's a bad thing. I mean, just because it's so noticeable, I mean, it makes makes everyone that's Wicca and Gothic a celebrity of Wicca, and that's just, it's not representing the faith or the religion properly. And, much like your argument against atheism, you seem to think that somebody can just reject a designation simply because they don't like the people associated with it, whether or not they fit the description. Only in this case, it's you telling other people to get out, rather than you yourself rejecting a label. And it doesn't work that way. 
oh, you can try to change yourself so you no longer fit the description, but you are what you are, regardless of whether you like it or not. Uh, being Wiccan, um, we sort of are immersed in the Christian religion because we're often defending ourselves with them. I think you mean against them. Just saying. And we, we want to understand it. Well, you just keep right on trying and let me know how that goes. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please think. Please take the time to rate this video. And hey, if you dig what I do, subscribe. And please visit my Sazzle store, where you'll find all kinds of Bionic Dance merchandise. So, who wants cake? Ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, you have to rate first.